It's Beat the Clock. Come on and join the action in the race against time with guest star Tom Kennedy. Now, here's your host on Beat the Clock, Jack Nall. had a guest MC there for a minute. <laughs> that was Tom Kennedy. He's going to join us on stage in a little bit for the rest of the show. But to get it rolling, we have some people to meet. And who are the first? Gene, please. Our first couple is Murray and Rosalind Cohen. Hi there, Roz. Hi. How are you today? Very good, thank Been you. Been married very long to this fellow oh, over here? About seven years. About seven years. Mm -hmm. That's a nice long marriage. Hi, you're Murray. Right. Nice to meet you, sir. And welcome to Beat the Clock. Thank you. Try to hold it down, will you? I hate to see somebody just get all wild and excited like you okay. are. Okay. Okay. Would you take Roz over to the bench and relax and wait for your call to Beat the Clock, right. friend? Nice to meet you, kids. Thank Good you. luck. Now we have another couple. Who are they, Jim? Our second couple is Jerry and Kathy Paisley. I guess we could say we have established a pattern here on the show. Here are the Paisleys. Hello. Hi. How are you? Uh... We, we, too bad we broke the all oh, slide. We could use it there. How long have you folks been married? Three years. Three years? Have you started a family? Yes, we have two children. What kind? Uh, I mean, little... What, <laughs> <laughs> what kind? What, you know, boy, a bo girl? A boy, yeah, 20 months, and a little girl, two months. One of each, boy and yeah. a girl. That's nice. Hi, proud pop. Thank you very much. Hmm? It's a pleasure being a pop. <laughs> yeah, I can understand that. It's going to be a pleasure here if you win some money, isn't it? Better it. What do you say we go to work and try to win some money for you Excellent. right now? We're going to do this first stunt right down on the platform where the audience can see it. And honey, if you'll step over here, Kathy, and be seated on the stool. Hon. That's good. And sir, I want you up here. Monsieur Paisley, right about in this section of the aisle. Now, Warren is going to hand you these balloons one at a time. We want you to toss them over to your wife who's going to break two to beat the clock. And she's going to break the balloons on this glove, actually on the tack. Your right hand, honey, put that on your right hand. And then if you would just hold your... Forefinger up in the air so everybody can see it, and the cameras too. There's a tack on the end, okay? She's to use that tack to break two balloons while they're in the air, and here's the clock that says how much time you have to break two balloons. And you have 50, 55 seconds, and here's how. We're gonna start up the fan. Somebody plug in the fan. Didn't we pay the bill this month? Go, fan, go. <laughs> That's the idea. All right. Jerry, we want you, standing where you are, toss the balloon over to the fan so that the stream of air blows it back and she breaks it on the tack. So you're standing right there. You can stand right up against the wall. That's good. Just don't hurt the man in the front row, okay? Watch your elbows. All right, break two, 55 seconds, go. Stay on stool, honey. Atta girl. Thank you. Will it come? Good, there's one. All right, see she gets this one? Stop the clock already. That was very fast. Look at all the time on the clock. As long as the balloons last, if they last as long as the clock, whichever gives out first, that's the end. But we'll give you $5 for each additional balloon you break in the same manner. Ready? And go. Five. Ten. Watch your balloon. Good, you have $40 on your side already. Now we're going to the cash board. You know what to do here. I wish you good luck. Which letter would you like, please? The E and the. The E and the? It is yours. The E in the. $50. Nice. Very nice start. Thank you. Okay, our guest star is going to join us here on stage now. Ladies and gentlemen, would you welcome Mr. Tom Kennedy? <laughs> Does 
your wife wear shirts like that, too? Uh, well, this is her outfit. That's what I thought. <laughs> oh, boy, we're both going to get it from Betty now. Yeah, we, Jim. Oh, boy, see the habit? Tom? We call him Jim Tom. I understand most of Jim and Tom, but who's Betty? <laughs> Go right ahead. <laughs> Betty Jane, the former Betty Jane oh, Jevitt of Lexington, way. Kentucky. Ah, the lady yeah. to whom you are married by law and all that. Ah, yes. The what are we going to do? I don't know. Let's say hello to the couples first. Hi, couples. Those are Paisleys. Hi. Hey. Believe it or not. Jerry and Kathy. And the, those are Cohen's over there, and it's Roz and Murray. I'm going to have both Roz and Murray join us, if you would, please. I'm going to use all three of you on this one. Roz and on the bow, and here we go. Ah, oh, oh, boy. Wow, wow. Whoopie doo. Uh, Roz, we're going to put a little map here for you to stand on. I believe you're right about er, where you are, Murray. Good. Honey, we want you to stand there. And we have a basket that Gail's going to give you. You can face this way, dear. We have plastic cups, which we want you to toss to Mr. Tom Kennedy, who's standing over here. You're over here, and we want you to bounce a cup into that basket to beat the clock. I see. You want a bicycle? Would, would I, no, not quite. How about a pogo stick? Oh, you're kidding. Would you buy a greased pig? Uh, yeah, I bought one the other day. How did it Didn't turn delicious? Really? Yeah, you just turned did over. Did you do the whole thing? Uh -huh. just, oh, I love it like that. Yeah. Get your own little luau. Let's see how much time you have to get a cup in the basket. <laughs> you should be at home sometimes and hear it. You have 60 seconds. Now, honey, you toss it in the air so that it bounces off this balloon that he'll be holding. Wow. The balloon, oh, not oh, Sharon, oh, boy. <laughs> Come here, bounce the cup off here, into here. Murray, we haven't given you anything to do. Why don't you go over and sit down in a rocking chair, make yourself at home. Yeah. And once oh, you're seated in there, gee. put your feet up on that rung there. Jack the side. And just put your feet up on that rod, see it? Good. And you just rock to your heart's content. Just go ahead, Murray, start rocking. Rockety, 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 rockety. Okay, now bounce a cup off the balloon into the basket in 60 seconds. Ready? And go. Keep rocking, Murray. Just, just keep rocking. Oh, I see. <laughs> keep rocking, Murray. Rock it, Murray. And uh, all right, one more. Boom. And stop the clock. That does it. Like that, all right. Did you say, would I come down here? Well, do you think you can last another 45 seconds? I'll try hard. All right, because if they can, you're going to get $10 for each additional cup that goes in there, okay? Go off your rocker, Murray. All right, and go! And that's it. Whoa! I have to stay on the mat. Yeah. Right. $10 so far. Ten extra dollars, but it's, you know, not bad. Now we go to the cash board. I wish you luck, and I ask you for a letter. Which one would you like? The second C in clock. You got it. Thank you. Second C in clock. We're going to... Uh, let the excitement die down here just a little bit. Take a brief time out. We'll return with TK and more of Beat the Clock. Jerry and Kathy will be given the opportunity to win some more cash against the clock in a very short time. But right now we have some gifts for you, and Gene's going to tell you about them. Gene, please. Eskimo Pies, the no-fuss snack of dessert that's always wanted with creamy, rich taste. Eskimo Pie, the world's most famous chocolate-coated ice cream bar. And the new Umbrella Safety Stroller that folds and carries like an umbrella. Light and strong, weighs five pounds, but supports 150. Adjustable safety belt and fingertip maneuverability. Okay, Jack. Yeah, sure. Oh, that's right. Yeah, sure. Gene, they said they can really... They... So happy to hear about that last gift. Now, uh, Jerry, Kathy has a way to roll Jerry down to the supermarket when they shop. <laughs> Let's go down here on the platform, kids. Uh, step up here, and if you would, please, uh, Warna 
Uh, yeah, right over here. I found it. Would you bring out these vests, girls, and put them on? <clears throat> That's our dear. While they are putting those vests on, I will uh, tell you, I don't know whether the camera will be able to get a shot of them or not, but on each of the vests, there is a little plastic uh, drapery ring. That's, yeah, fine. Now, I'm going to ask you if you would, honey, you just come over here and stand facing that camera. Good. You stand on this side, facing her. Now, I'm going to place a clothes hanger in this hoop. Uh -huh. All righty, I'm getting laughs from the people. <laughs> I want it to end up over here on this hoop. Okay? Here's how much time you have to do it. 60 seconds. And here, pardon? You said it. I didn't. That's right. That's right. Hands behind your back and keep them there at all times. Now get the hanger from here to there, and you have only 60 seconds. Good luck and go. Get it from there to there for a $50 bonus, and go. 50 bucks, get it back. I believe they're gonna do it. First day. That's, That's it. it. That's the clock. Okay, kids, want to just take the rest off? Is it? Well, it's uh, warm enough out here without wearing those also. All righty, you've got your $50 bonus very easily. We go now to the cash board to see how you do this time. There are a couple of, you know, 100s up there. Maybe you'll get lucky and come up with one of those. Let's see. Good luck, and how about a letter? Go ahead. B and B. B and B? Okay. Very first one on the board. $25 to add to your bonus, 75. Very good. Here's another opportunity for our couples to add $50 to their winnings. That's uh, $50 each team because it is solo time, TK. And if it, yep, they make the right bet, either you or the clock, they're gonna earn another 50. Come on over here, I'll show you what we want you to do. We have here uh, Ann Tetherball. Down there you see a board and a couple of bowling pins on it. You have to, to bring this tetherball back here like this, aim it, swing it out, and have it come back between the pins. Without knocking them over, okay? And then you can grab the ball and Without do it again. knocking them over? Right. In other words, it must go out like this. Yeah, and look. <laughs> like that. Oh, uh, oh, let's see how much time he has to do it. Three hours and 30 minutes. No, how about 55 seconds? Well, whatever you say. You know what he has to do, right? Swing it out, has to come back between the pins, not knock them over. Jerry and Kathy, give you a chance to bet on either the clock or the star. What'll it be? Star. star. On the star. They say you can do it. Yeah. Murray and Ross. Against. You're going to bet on the clock. Okay. One couple on you, one on the clock. Ready? Yeah, I guess so. I don't know whether we, better, we should take a chance. All right, yeah. Ready? And go. Ah, come on, baby. <laughs> I would say thing to, uh, to Murray and Roz, they bet on the clock, you know. Hey, that's <laughs> but Jerry and Kathy get another $50. They bet on a star. Congratulations. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, Jim and Tom, we have a gift for you. Give a listen, Gene, tell you what we have for you. Gene, what is it, please? The new silhouette carry-on suit from Samsonite for the man who travels light but complete. Accessory space plus a suit packing fixture designed to fit under a jet seat. Okay, Jack. Thank you very much, Gene. 
A very brief time out, friends, for these words, and then we'll return with Tom Kennedy and more of Beat the Clock. I'm going to. Murray and Roz, we have gifts for you. Now, if you'll listen in, Gene will tell you about them. Go, Gene, baby. Mason Constant Flame Candle Lamps, the final touch of atmosphere. With exclusive Constant Flame cartridge that burns up, not down. Elegant, safe, covered flame from Mason. And 100 pounds of spaghetti in three cases of ragu sauce. Simmered to perfection, old world style spaghetti sauce. Heat and serve on meat, rice, and spaghetti. Go, Jack. Go, <laughs> Jim Tom, just stand over here on this corner at a podium and Warner, would you put a mic on him, please, as we ask Gail now if she would play, bring three ladies from our studio audience onto our stage. And Roz, I'm going to ask you and Kathy to go over here and join these ladies, and uh, Gail will show you where she wants you to stand. We'll put you all in a little line there. This we call our either-or segment of Beat the Clock. What happens here, Tom, is I'll ask these ladies uh, four questions, and I'll give them a choice of two answers, and we want you to guess what the majority of those ladies will answer. And uh, each time you are able to pick out what the majority answer, $25 will go to each of our teams. Now, I don't, I, no communication at all verbal between you and the ladies, and ladies, do not answer these questions, just think about them, and then I'll come back and ask you for your answer. And the first question I have for you today is, which do you prefer, coffee or tea? And as you think it over, Tom will look at you, take into consideration climate and everything, you know, and everything. Figure out whether the majority, whether those ladies will drink coffee or tea. If you pick the majority answer, each team gets $25. Now, Gail has two answers there in front of you, and you choose either one. Which one do you think? I just picked that. The yeah, one just, that I just point to it, and she'll hold it. There you go, right. That one, okay. Mm -hmm. Let's start with this lady and ask her which she prefers, coffee or tea? Tea. One tea. Tea. Two tea. Coffee. One coffee. Tea. Three teas. Coffee. Three teas, two coffees. So the majority said tea. And what did TK say? Tea. tea. Good. Yeah. Very good. $25 for each team. Now here's something. Assuming that they both look exactly alike, which would appeal to you more? A great athlete or a great scholar? Great athlete or great scholar, they look exactly alike. Well, we say they're identical twins. One's a scholar and one's an athlete, and which would appeal... Am I allowed to make which... any comments? On no, that? not, no, not yet. Right. So you can, you know, later we'll comment a lot mm -hmm. about why you chose... You want me to just pick yeah, up? Yeah, either one. Here. Definitely that. Okay. Would it be scholar or athlete? Athlete. Athlete one. Scholar. Tied up. Athlete. Two athletes. Athlete. Three athletes. Scholar. Scholar. Three athletes. <laughs> two scholars. Hey, he's right again. Now, you asked uh, if you could comment. Yeah, now you can. Why? Why did you? I just you... think that nine out of ten women would go for the athlete or an athletic scholar, one of the two. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, uh, that's for all you supporters of scholars out there. Oh, scholars. Oh, moving. All right, right here along. comes and moving right along. Yeah. <laughs> Girls, which would relax you more, to have your head massaged? Or to have your back rubbed. Ah, uh, yeah. Head massage. No doubt about this. Back one. rub. It's this. You think? Yeah. All right. Let's go over here and see. Head <laughs> massage or back rub. What do you think, Wayne? Never mind. Yeah. Head. Head massage. Back rub. Back rub. Back rub. Two back rub. Three back rub. Back rub. Back rub. Five back Dang. rubs. Got it. What did you have? I did back it again. Rub. Yeah. <laughs> That's $75 an old point. Now, I want to ask you, did you choose that answer because that's what you like or what, that's because oh, what Betty likes? That's because that's what Betty likes. You Women don't want to The men are hair rubs, except after C. All right. And that's that usually though. follows D. Now, here's the last question. Which do you think has more effect on a naughty child? Mm. Spanking mm. or being deprived of something? Mm. Now, naughty child, I would assume that that would be somewhere, Frank, what, under the teens? Consider under, yeah. the, under the teens, beneath, below the teen age. Is spanking like or being deprived of something? Derailing the train or something like yeah, that. Yeah, right. I would Playing say on this. The, yeah. yeah, in this. You know, remember how we used to spread axle grease on the streetcar tracks yeah. in Viaduct? They couldn't get up the hill. <laughs> uh, being deprived or spanked? Being deprived. Deprivation. Being deprived. Five being deprived. Well, and I'm a you father said, of four. So yes, I, no. that's it. 100% you got it. Very good. 
That's $50. That's $100 for two. That's very good. Very good. Now, for those ladies who joined us from our studio audience, we thank you very much. And we also have a little something for you. Jane, what is it, please? For each of our audience helpers, we have rich, dark-coated Hollywood bars with fluffy white nougat, crisp roasted peanuts, and topped with smooth caramel. Hollywood rates a star on the wrapper mark of a fine candy. With thanks from Beat the Clock. Thank you, ladies. Okay, we can all get back to the Thank you. Bye-bye. Congratulations, Tom. That was well done. Man, thank you. We'll be right back with our contestants. Yeah. All right, let's bring this. Oh, what a lovely sari this lady is wearing. We have separated the pins a little more, and we are going to give you three chances, my dear, to have it come back between. Ready? And this is Tom did. Go. No. Ooh, that won't do it. There's... Again, swing it out now. That a girl. Almost. But that's the idea. Let's see you do it. This Try way. the other side, maybe. Well, let's do it. Oh, right. that was very close, but thank you. In the cash department of the day, we almost had a tie. Both couples, however, did very well. Murray and Roz, you have $310 plus your gifts. And Jerry and Kathy, this is how close it was. You have $315. About five. Okay. All right, there's the cash board. Now we're going to reveal all the rest of the numbers. Although the, the really large one was taken today. There it is, for all the world to see. Tom Kennedy, thank you. See you Thank tomorrow. you, Jack. Look okay. forward to it. Very good. Thank you, kids. Nice to have you on the show. You at home, thank you for joining us. Hope you'll do the same tomorrow. Until then, this is Jack and I saying I hope one of these times soon. It'll be your turn to speak the clock. So long. Showbiz legend William Shatner is matching the right answers with the hottest dancers. What's the name of this game? Show me the money! With never-before-seen episodes and more chances to win big. Are you excited or what? Yes! Show Me the Money premieres Tuesday night at 8, 7 central, only on GSN.